this is a very interesting question what do you mean by sine of some angle theta now when i generally ask this question most of you would tend to answer like sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse now i'm not asking you a formula for sin theta i'm just asking you what do you mean by sin of this angle theta now let's take a circle and also let me draw a line now do you have any relationship between this line and that circle clearly no okay suppose if i draw a line outside this circle somewhere like this and again i can say okay there is no relationship between this line and the circle but if i draw a line something like this okay now i would say yes there is a relationship between this line and the circle now what is that relationship because now i call this line as a chord it's a chord length it's a line segment where the end points lie on the circumference of the circle so when the line touches that circle if the end points of the line touches the circle or if the line touches the circle then i do have a relationship between the line and the circle now let's go back to history now this chord length was actually named in sanskrit as jya now you name this as you read this as j y a now aryabhata termed it as jya now jya means it is length of the chord okay now this happens somewhere during the period of aryabhata and that is around 465 ad and then if you translate it to tamil this is translated as jiva in tamil they read this as jiva it's called length of the chord and this was translated to arabic and that was read as jayab but it is written as j i a b when you read it you need to read it as jayab and this is in arabic again it means length of the chord and it was then translated to latin and in latin it got the name sinus so this is a latin name sinus and in 1620s an english minister by name edmund gunter he translated latin into english which got the name sin so what is basically sin sin represents length of the chord now the interesting part here is if you want to measure the length of the chord corresponding to some angle theta and then plot it in a graph let's take a unit circle now this circle has a radius of 1 unit and now when you change this angle you can see if the point moves on that circle you are changing the angle with respect to the x axis as this point moves on the circle i am going to plot this on a graph and in that graph you can see along the x axis i am going to take that angles there and along the y axis you have the length of the chord now since it is a unit circle maximum value of the length is going to be 1 unit and the minimum value is minus 1 because you are measuring the length from the x axis so anything above the x axis is positive and any length below the x axis is going to be negative so now you can see that if i keep changing the lens like this you can see when it reaches 30 degree you can measure the length there length is 0.5 and that is why sin corresponding to 30 degree is half and you can also look at the graph it's not linear you can see how it changes so if you look at 45 degrees here you can see the length of the chord is 0.707 and you know sin of 45 degree is 1 by root 2 and root 2 value is 1.414 so therefore 1 divided by 1.414 is 0.707 so you are actually measuring the length of the chord corresponding to that angle now what happens to sin 90 so when you make this angle 90 degree you can see sin 90 is 1 because 
it's equivalent to the radius now what happens if you further increase the angle and you can see the length of the chord will start decreasing because it's moving on a circle of radius 1 so beyond 90 degree you can see the length of the chord decreases and therefore you can see a dip in the graph and what happens here when so sine 180 again the length of the chord becomes 0 and if you further increase sine 270 you get it's minus 1 and then for 360 you go back the length again decreases goes to 0 so this is how a sine graph looks like so the sine graph is actually you're measuring the length of the chord corresponding to some angle theta so this is what you mean by sine of some angle theta